Welcome, collectors and hobby enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking out a custom 150th scale International Durastar attenuator truck made by Precision Scale Replicas. If you're not familiar with Precision Scale Replicas, it's a company owned by Greg Bauer, who's been in the custom model business for over 20 years. He's worked on everything from brass CCM pieces to MIM models, Norscott, First Gear, and many, many more. A link to his Facebook page will be down in this video's description. These trucks were done in a joint effort with Ed's Diecast Shed not too terribly long ago, so if you are interested in buying one of these for your own collection, reach out to Brandon or Ed at Ed's Diecast Shed. Again, their contact information will be in this video's description as well. All right, a little bit of history about attenuator trucks. Some of you may not have even ever heard that term before, and these trucks have been around for several decades, and their main purpose is to serve as a deterrent and early warning device uh, to keep the road workers safe in the construction zone. Unfortunately, there's been some pretty horrific instances throughout uh, construction history about unassuming motorist drivers that are not paying attention, um, having some horrible accidents with workers in the work zone. So that is the primary function of this truck. That big yellow piece that you see towards the end of it is called the cushion or the crash pad. Essentially, it's a very large and very oversized pillow and that is the device that catches the unassuming motorist, the driver that's not paying attention. That catches his car, so he crashes into that and not the workers that are doing the road work. All right, beginning with the model review. I mentioned before this is in 150th scale. The donor truck, the cab, the wheels, etc., are from a First Gear International Durastar box truck. And you can get the truck painted in one of four different colors, red, black, white, and orange. The body of these trucks is normally always done in black. However, you can get the cab and the body done in a custom color of your choice. Again, just reach out to Greg and uh, put your special requests in there, and you'll be able to have a custom truck made that mirrors maybe the one that you have in the real-world situation. The signs here also come with it, as do the traffic barrels and cones. In this configuration, the standard version of this model, the Traffic barrels and the cones come glued down to the truck's body, but again, as a special request, you can also uh, request from Greg that they be left off so that you can have them to display around the truck. We will go into the five signs that are included as we go throughout the model review. So let's start at the business end of this model, which is the attenuator, the actual crash cushion. You can see that it has this nice yellow and black striped chevron. The attenuator is separately mounted to the truck by one small brass pin so you got to be very very careful and the reason that it's not glued to the truck is it allows for a couple different display possibilities but even more importantly than that when the truck is shipped if this is separately wrapped it lessens the chance of damage happening during the shipping process i really like that they made the attenuator removable the arrow board or the arrow sign here in the real world these are normally positioned in one of three directions. This way, obviously pointing to the left, pointing to the right, or you'll see both arrows flashing simultaneously, indicating that there's work going on in the middle lane. Moving around towards the bed of the truck, I already mentioned the barrels and cones that come with it. It is a little bit difficult to see on the bed, but if I tilt it towards you, you can see the diamond plating texturing like you would see on fire trucks just adds to the realism and immersion factor. I think that's a very nice touch. This cabinet over here holds the five road construction signs. On top of that, you have this amber warning beacon. Coming alongside, you can see the different toolboxes. The doors on the cab do open, but they do not open very far, so I would encourage you against doing that just so you don't chance breaking anything. Also, the base model from First Gear did not have any working steering engineered into it, so the truck does not have any working steering. Moving towards the front, you can see that clearly this is an international Durastar with that famous grill. And then coming over here, you can just see the other side of the truck as well. So let's take a look at some of the other features that come with this model. I mentioned the traffic barrels and the traffic cones, the removable attenuator, but you're also given five different road construction signs. Now, these signs have a little piece on the back right here. See that little orange tubular shaped thing? And that's for these. You are also given five posts. And the way that you put these on is just insert it towards the back and push up. It's as simple as that. 
and now you have the different signs. So let's take just a minute here and put all these signs up. You can see that that one reads left lane closed. This sign that I'm working on now, road closed. We have men working. Get this other one out here. Right lane closed. And then our last sign, is reluctant to come out. There we go. Our last sign reads with a single arrow pointing to the left. So those are all the different accessories that are included with the model. As you see this now, as it's configured with the cones, the red cab, the black body, the signs, everything, this is going to cost $179 plus shipping. I think that's very good value considering the craftsmanship that you get from Greg and all of the different accessories that are included, whether they be the barrels, the cones, the removing the removable attenuator, the different signs. I do think that it's really good value for the money. Where this truck really comes alive is how well it looks in a small diorama. So I will try and do that for you right now. Again, obviously, we have limited space, so it's going to be a little bit more compact than what you would see in a realistic scenario, this truck would be well out ahead of the work zone that's going on. So let's put our right lane closed sign up because they're gonna be doing some work on the right side. That's why the arrow is pointing to the left. Point our arrow as well. And then we'll have our men working. Let's put some barrels up. Spread these out. Bring in our dump truck, as you can see, matches the truck. The red is an exact match to sword red. And then we'll have our 309 excavator working. We'll complete the display with a few figures. And there you go. Very quickly, you have a very interesting and respectful looking construction side diorama. So if you guys have any further comments or questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, this is a sensational 1 to 50 scale model that's done with phenomenal detail and attention to absolutely the smallest parts of the attenuator truck, whether it would be the diamond plate and texture, the amazing paint finish, the chevron decal on the attenuator, the fact that the attenuator is removable, and obviously all of the different little accessories that come with the kit. Once again, it's made by Precision Scale Replicas. Their information will be down in the video's description, as will be Ed's die cast shed information, which is where you need to go to if you want one of these trucks custom made for you. Again, Greg does these out of his house, so allow him a little bit of time from when the time you place your order to when the truck is made. I know he's very, very busy, so as long as you're patient, I'm sure he would love to do one of these trucks for you as well. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.